Hello everybody. Welcome to another unboxing video. And as you can see, this is a classic model. It's of the UH-1B, if I'm not mistaken. Huey Hog. Now this is like, oops. Different variations of the Huey, as far as the B model goes, or the C, I can't remember exactly. But this one, they call it the Huey Hog because it has the cannon or grenade launcher in the front. But anyways, I got this on eBay for about 10 bucks and some change, so not a bad, not a bad price. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, one tip that I want to give out, oh, well, I guess I can show you the box, huh? Uh, you can see real quick on the sides. Got some uh, pictures of the finished kit. This thing will focus. Okay, hold on a second. All right, there we go. So I just have to clean the lens real quick. So there's like two pictures basically, and then we go around, and there's another one profile view. So let's get to it. I already took the pieces out of the bag. It was brand new, still sealed with its uh, clear wrapping. We can see here the clear parts, um, and they don't look too bad actually. The main windshield is a little bit scuffed up, but uh, easily remedied, so it's no big deal. I don't know if you can see through all the glare there, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Some of the other parts maybe a little bit scuffed up too, but again, yeah, I like this one there. Uh, let me see if I can close up on there. You can kind of see the scuff marks right there. And I think that's pretty much it. Everything, all the other ones are pretty good shape. And as you can see, no flash. So, one thing that I noticed, I think. I mean, this one has some flash, but being that it's a older kit, more of the original moldings, the flash is not so bad, and the kit is more um, clean, I guess you could say. More, the details are more uh, sharp. And I've seen some other, uh, I guess, YouTubers uh, do some unboxings on this one, and. Yeah, those kits look really bad, so I guess if you want to get some old monogram kits, try and get the earlier versions, the, you know, more of the original, not the recasts or re-releases and stuff. But uh, moving on, got a loose part here, it's ammo belt, uh, doesn't look too bad. I don't see any flash on this one. So there's that. And then we go on to the body. So let's go along through here. Start at the front. And you can see the details are really sharp. Real nice. Uh, forget to mention it's a raised uh, details. But I don't have an issue with that no more. Uh, I will have to show you the Cobra. I still have to upload that video. It's done. And um, yeah. So that'll come up shortly. So as you can see here, the detail is nice and crisp. Really good. Should build up to a nice kit. A little bit of flash in there, but you know. No big deal. No big deal. Let's see a little bit of flash there, I think, too. But the detail all around is really sharp. Can't beat that with a baseball bat. Can we get the. Oh, I forgot which antennas these are. 
Doppler antennas maybe? I can't remember. I think it's Doppler, but it's a little bit of flash, but can fix those. It's a little bit sandy. Take care of that problem. Um, gray. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if this is original. It's probably in the 80s, this one maybe. Who knows? I think the... Oh, you know what? I think this is from that uh, other version from the Air Force, if I'm not mistaken, which was in gray. I think I've seen one of those in on eBay too. So that might be where this molding came from. If that gray means anything, so... Yeah. But, like I said, color sharp. Flash a little bit here and there, but, you know, no big deal. Nothing too big. Let's look at the back area here. Injection pins. Marks there. And from what it's, I can see here, they can be fixed with a Dremel tool. Some putty maybe, or super glue. Be a tight fit in there though to get those fixed though, but it's doable. Same to here on the door. And yeah, that's on that side. Other side is pretty much the same. But no injection injection pin marks here, so that's good. Okay, so really good. Some rivet detail there. Nice. Let's see how the fit goes though. I'll have to see on that. Okay, next sprue here is basically the weapon systems. Those M60s are not looking too uh, too sharp as far as detail goes, but it could be worse. Uh, doesn't look like they need too much cleanup though, so that's a plus. Then we got the grenade launcher. Don't ask me what the uh, the actual name of it is. I can't. I don't remember. I actually, if I'm to be honest, I haven't done my research on it yet. So you have to forgive me for the nomenclature of some of these weapon system part names and stuff. There's the other ammo belt. That one has some flash on that. So it'll be a little bit tricky trying to clean that up and keep the, you know, the detail on it. We got the seven missile pot there, and these don't really have any detail on it. So pretty plain Jane. The land this kid uh, bars the look. Oh no, that's for the weapon system, my bad. Uh, but they have some detail there though. So that's good. And no flash. Another plus. Other side, nothing really. Moving on. Sorry, I had to pause there for a minute. Okay, so I think this is a, uh, uh, what is it called, oleo strut or brace, balancing, uh, I can't remember, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so this was loose in the bag though, but just needs a little bit of a uh, cleanup, but it's good to go. So, next, yeah, put that over here, let's go, oh, let me back up here. So we got another sprue, and as you can see, this one has some heavy flash. But um, luckily, easy to clean up here on the blade, in the other blade. And as you can see, some nice panel detail. Uh, let me see, should I put it all in the shade? And so yeah, there we go. So we'll give you an overall view of the sprue. And even the small parts here are pretty clean. So there's a pilot, co-pilot, and uh, one of the seats is also loose. Uh, 
So I'm going to show it to you now. Here we go. Some bad detail though. Some basic seat belts. And it goes in the back. Can you see that? Hold on, let me put that out of focus here. So. Okay, now it won't focus on me. Well, there you can see it. Pretty plain, other than the seat belts. So, little reference lookups, and you can detail it pretty good, I'm sure. That's my plan. You got the pilots there. Pretty cool. Got a has a notepad on this lap there. Not too bad. Let's see how they fit. I don't know if I'll use them though, but. If anything, I'll probably just um, drill out the helmet and like put it on the seats and stuff with a mic or headset cable going out, you know, and we'll see, we'll see. I got a lot of reference and research ahead of me so I can turn this one into a nice little model. And we got the rear bulkhead with some of the troop seats uh, detail there. It's not too bad. Pretty good. Cabin doors. And of course the main rotor blades. More antenna. Transmission shaft. And tail skid right there then we got the cyclics and wow it even comes with uh, tires to move the aircraft into the hangar and whatnot we got the control pedals got the pitot tube got the throttle Collective, I mean, sorry. This one seems um, like angled. You can see that. So I gotta check and see if that's normal or if it's a molding error. So I'll have to check. Because uh, let me see, let me see the other one. Oh no, the other one's pretty straight. It's just this one. So I'll we'll have to see on that. Or I'll have to see. And got the seating, the seats again. I'm sorry, some seat belt moldings on there. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. Let's see if I can get a close up so you can see more detail. Come on, we can kind of see the texture there for the the seats and they got the instrument panel uh, I, I want to say that as far as monogram goes it looks a bit simplistic but definitely way better than like say Eastern companies I'll, I'll leave it at that <laughs> where you need decals for it so not bad get more parts for the main rotor mast there okay Moving on to the last screw okay here we have the top of the cabin and I have to say it looks really nice you can see all the rivet detail there pretty sharp uh, moldings and you know detail moldings on the top so yeah looks sharp no flash on the where the windshield goes the clear window panes go um, there's the inside deck I'm not really sure what it's called 
But you got the center console there with some good detail actually. There we go. Crate for the ammo box or the ammo box crate, whatever you want to call it. Not too bad. It's pretty good. And then the engine, turbine, transmission, the skids, a little bit of flash, but easily correctable. Tail rotor, some uh, good detail on there. And of course, the uh, uh, what are these called? Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Air ducts, I guess. Don't know the exact terminology. Sorry, but some good detail there, though. Good wash. Bring that detail out. And of course, this is covered, but I don't know if you want to open it up, you know this 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 engine is screaming for detailing, but as it is, it looks already really good. So and then of course, the inside of the cabin there, some good detail. Oh, we got some sink holes there. In there too, clean those up. Be tricky though, but it can be done. And let's see. got some writing on here. Let's see if we can read that. Come on, focus. There we go. Monogram made in the USA. It doesn't have a date on it, but. There you have it. Nice, nice, nice. And we're almost done. We got some decals here for the Marines version of this, which I will not be using. I'm gonna see if I can find some Army decals since that's the branch I was in. And I don't really like those either way but the decals are pretty good it I mean they're brand new I mean who knows how long this kit has been in storage but the fact that it was still in its shrink wrap preserved the decals from moisture and all that good stuff so yeah definitely usable but I won't be using it though. and of course oh, 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 don't fly away on me hold on a second guys let me all right sorry I just had to get this uh, to hold on with these boxes so that it doesn't fly away from the wind but you can see there the instructions small little sheet things like six steps <laughs> but I'll go ahead and take you briefly through the steps so you can see for yourself Oops. pretty detailed instructions hmm. See there, I'll just follow through through each step, and you can just see for yourself. Pause it if you like. Try and keep uh, stable as I can, so you can pause and read through it, look over it, whatever. Pretty basic, not not too many parts. I have to read and see how many parts there are. Okay, so seven steps plus the decal. So technically, I guess it's eight steps.
I won't be using that though. Don't like the way the Huey looks with that uh, grenade launcher. And of course the exploded view, well not exploded view, but um, views for the R decal positions and stuff. So that's pretty much it. So I guess this would be the, this represents the UH-1C which was the most heavily armed version of many gunship variants that were developed. And here we go, it's called the M5 40 millimeter grenade launcher. There we go. And then of course it has the M200 Alpha 1 rocket pods. And I'm pretty sure this has the M60s if I was reading right on the magazine. Yeah, M60s, yeah. So, so overall, it's a good kit. I mean, if you see raised uh, panel lines as a setback, then I think that's pretty much the only setback this kit has. Uh, as far as the kit itself, it's a really good kit. I think it's still um, competitive with today's market. So. You, know, you have to remember this kit was probably made like in the 70s without all the advanced tooling that most of the uh, other companies use nowadays like Tamiya, Hasegawa, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, highly recommend it. If you can get one, get it. And I think the earlier... Uh, versions that you can find the better because I think the of course the moldings were you know a lot newer than back then so the flash probably won't be as much as with you know rehashes of today like the ones that Ravel is issuing out I think those are pretty bad if I remember seeing that on YouTube on some other modeling channels so go for the original guys and with that I'll see you on the next video and hopefully it'll be the Cobra because like I said I'm done with it I think you guys are gonna really like it so yeah and yeah another reason why you haven't been seeing me put videos out so much mostly this time around my excuse this time <laughs> was because my computer crashed with an update so and I've just been too lazy to fix it until just recently, so, yeah. And that and vacation from my son and a lot of other stuff. You know, the usual life. But uh, I have been working on kits, though. Just not really making videos because, like I said, a lot of other things going on. But anyways, I'm just... Billy Babbin now. Uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>